Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to do a quick overview of the Bosch laser meter model number GLM50C, okay? So um, this is their kind of one level above entry level laser meter. So what's special about this one is actually have a full color LCD screen. I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. And uh, it's also extremely compact. Uh, over here is my old 12 feet um, rolling roller and uh, as you can see it's uh, it's slightly longer and the thickness is about the same so if you compare it like this way and this is one of the more compact um, rulers um, there is so this is most definitely a very very compact package and you can see it fits perfectly in my palm so extremely versatile extremely compact i really love that so um in terms of range 165 foot so pretty good range and more than enough for indoor use and by the way this laser meter is actually designed for mainly indoor use um, or in indirect sunlight because if it gets too bright outside the laser pointer might not show up and for those situations for outdoor use you are gonna want a laser uh, meter that actually is um, have a like a built-in camera function so the camera helps to get those measurements from afar okay so this is GLM 50C and many people are probably wondering what is the difference between the 50C and the 50CX um, there really isn't any difference the only difference is where the laser meter is sold uh, most of the um, the CX is, I think, is mainly sold in retail stores, and on the 50 CX, they also had a label on the back that you can you can write your name on. Um, that's the only difference. And uh, so let's turn on the the laser meter. As you can see, it starts up really quick in less than like two seconds. It starts up, and once it starts up, it's gonna start measuring distance like right away in the live measuring mode. So let's start with some functions what that this laser meter um, have. So if you press the function button, it brings up all the features of this laser meter, which is really, really great actually, because everything's really quick and easy to access. So where there is really like no like complicated features, like even the uh, most of the features are very easy to understand and use, like it doesn't take any time at all to learn how to use those features. So, of course, the default is the real-time mode. So, in the real-time mode, if you just press the, uh, the little red button to turn on the laser, and as you can see, the laser is on. So, it just starts to measuring the distance um, every, I guess, half a second. So, um, every half a second, it gives you a distance measuring. If you press again, it stops and locks. And if you press again, it goes into live mode again. So you have a little indicator over there that says the live mode is on. And uh, again, if it doesn't measure anything or if it's too close, it's gonna you know, not give you any reading, but um, the closest it gets is about six inches. Um, but I think uh, the advertising says like about, about eight inch is where it starts to give you a distance measure. So really, really versatile, like uh, even for close range use, it's more than enough, okay? So again, I guess before going into, into the, any of the functions, I have, to, um, I have to mention that there are a couple, there are a couple measuring modes. So over here on the top, it shows the measuring mode. Right now, it have the arrow, uh, it have the level on the bottom of the laser meter. So it starts the measurement from the bottom area over here. So kind of just like, like this. Okay, so that's where it starts. If you press this mode changing button over here, it gives you three modes. So you press again to switch. So this is a default mode, which is measuring from the, the bottom of the uh, laser. And if you press again, it goes to measure from the top of the laser. So it starts a measurement like that, okay? And uh, if you press again, it measures from the center area. Now, I never figured out where exactly is the center area. I'm thinking it's probably where the um, the tripod mounting hole is. So that's where it measures. So I guess it points over to this little um, edge over here. But 
I, I never use that feature, so but it does have a measuring from the middle of the of the laser meter. Okay, so I'm gonna again go back to default, which is the bottom starts to measure from the bottom, and then we're gonna go into the function mode again and take a look. So uh, I was in the real time mode, and uh, I also have just the regular length mode. So in this mode, the length mode, uh, basically you just press. Uh, the thing and it's gonna it's gonna ask you to point to an area that you want. So right now I'm pointing to like just you know the other side of the wall, and I'm gonna press the button again. It locks into the um, it locks in it locks in and then it gives you the measurement of the the length, um, which is about twelve foot away uh, from where my table is. So that's that's uh, just the standard length mode. And again, if you press again, it's gonna measure again, and you press stop, and it gives you another reading. And you press again, and you stop, it's gonna give you another reading. So it's gonna fill up the screen over here until it's full, and then it just goes up. So let's see how many readings it can give me. So it gives me three readings um, that's saved, plus a one reading um, that's the most current reading. So. Um, the screen area is actually really useful because um, you can see different measuring modes, battery level, and it, you even have a little level over here. So the level helps, like really helps. Let me see if I can block the light and so you guys can see the level. As you can see, it's moving over there. Um, it's a really cool feature to have because then you know when the, um, the, the laser is actually you know leveled up and then you can do a measurement like when it's fully leveled up and just press again and it gives you a reading okay so really really useful and uh, did I mention that it also if you tilt it it goes into the tilt mode so it's really really easy to see okay like I really love this this laser meter it, it like I have a little small ruler and I have a giant, I think 24 foot ruler and now I never use those anymore once I got this. I just love this thing. It's so feature packed in a, such a small compact package, okay? So I'm gonna go into the, um, the little mode again and we're gonna go to the next one which is the level. So you have this level over here and uh, what it does, uh, kinda, it's hot. the light is over there. So what it does is it actually gives you a real-time level over here. And if you ever have the thing leveled up, it tells you that it's fully leveled and it gives you a beep. So really, really cool feature. Let's see if we can do it over here again. I'm again playing in the air, which is really hard. It's like playing a game. But as you can see, um, actually fairly accurate level over here gives you a three degree um, tilt measurement. So once you get into the bullseye, it just beeps. Really, really cool. And you can also lock the, the level over there so you know exactly where it was and you unlock it, it's, it goes into like playing again, like, like so. So, um, so that's a level. And over here, you go into the memories the memory gives you all the measurements from the last 30 measurements that you did. So again, as you can see, I was playing around with the length. So it gives me the length reading and um, I was uh, measuring the area in my house. So it gives me the area reading. As you can see, the memory saves like 30, 30 memories from your last reading. So a lot of um, over here, I was playing with the volume. So. Um, it remembers all those memories that you did, like all the settings you did. So, so that's that's a memory, okay? Over here you have a stakeout feature. The stakeout basically, um, like you, how do you say it? So it's for plant, planting stakes. So if you have a stake at a certain distance, like every three foot, um, you can just do that every three foot and it gives you this little metering thing where it tells you uh, where your stake was set. Not sure if you guys can see, so it gives you a like a little distance reading. So you know each foot it, it's gonna beep once 
and once it beeps, you know that's where you're gonna plant. That's where you're gonna plant the stake. Okay, so that's uh, the stake out feature. And uh, again, I apologize. I don't know. I don't use this feature much, so I couldn't really give you much demonstration. The wall area also very very useful. So uh, if you are painting, you know, uh, and you need to quickly measure like the wall area and the wall is not uh, is not a square so maybe you have like some areas that uh, goes over this and over here and then over this again you can use this wall area function to really quickly calculate the wall area so basically you measure the height of the wall over here measure the height and once you have the height measured you measure the length of the first wall and once you have the first wall measured uh, the sigma L is the next wall area. So basically you just measure and lock, measure and lock, measure and lock. And as you can see, once you measure each wall area, it calculates the total area that you measured. So if I keep pressing, it's just gonna think that I'm measuring another wall area of about 12 foot. It automatically calculates the area for me. And as you can see, the calculation is really, really quick and uh, it's extremely helpful, okay? You, um, in this mode, you does, it, it doesn't have the subtract and, um, and the subtraction and add feature. So um, you can't use that over here, but in some other modes, you can use add and subtract, okay? Um, so that's wall area. And the indirect is this little triangle looking thing. So the indirect, um, you have, indirect height, you have indirect length, and you have double height. So um, those features are for measuring objects that are very large and objects that are very far away or uh, not within your reachable, uh, not within your reach. So in different modes, you can measure different areas. So let's try the indirect length. So first thing first is it asks you to measure um, measure this angle. So I guess I point this up at an, a, the, the top of the, uh, of I guess, a building. And I get that reading of a nine foot. And, uh, oh, so um, let's see. So that's, um, that's kind of like the Leica's uh, smart hor horizon mode, where you actually just actually pointing at the wall and you, doesn't, you don't even have to level it. You just basically point at a wall if there's some obstacles in front, you couldn't measure directly straight. So you point at the top of the wall, like so. So let me point at top of my wall again. So once you get a reading over there, it's gonna calculate the kind of a, the, the distance of the horizontal distance, which it told me is about 11 foot um, and six inch. Okay, so now let's let me just do a quick measurement where I'm kind of pointing straight ahead and lining it up. Let's see. So how about so? So eleven foot and ten inch. So with about four inch of uh, arrow, and it actually gives me the approximate height of. Um, that wall over there in the front, which is pretty neat. So that's the same feature as the Leica Smart Horizon, which you don't really get in their entry-level D2 um, laser meter, but you get in the X3 model, which costs almost $300, which I think is ridiculous for any home use, okay? Um, and the Bosch over here, the Bosch GM50C gives you this feature right over here uh, for less than $90. That, that is crazy. And a color screen. So that's one of the indirect mode and you have a indirect height mode. So basically, I guess you, um, let's see what it measures. So I'm gonna point at the top of the, of the wall and it tells me the approximate height is about five foot uh, from, from this area to the wall, like from this, like the, the height of the wall from you know this level. And if I do a measurement over here, just directly to the top of the wall, it gives me a height of about five foot. So um, surprisingly accurate with this indirect measurement mode. 
So I'm going to measure again and I'm going to point to the top of the wall over there. See, extremely, almost extremely accurate within the one inch difference. And I'm pretty sure if I point it more accurately, it's going to give me a much more accurate um, indirect height measurement. So that was like, it's super useful, super, super useful. Another measurement is double height. So that's when you don't know, uh, that's when the object is kind of tilted at an angle and you need to know the distance of uh, like the height of that object from far away. So you press once, you measure the, the top of the wall and you press once, you measure the bottom of the wall and then it gives you a approximate height uh, of that object over there. And uh, obviously, I already tested the other two methods. So this is actually very, very accurate. Okay, so and extremely useful, the indirect measurement. And uh, let's move on. And uh, there are volume measurements. Volume is basically length, width, plus height. So you press once to measure the length, press once to measure the width, and press once to measure the height. And it automatically calculates the total square or the volumetric uh, square footage area of, or I mean the, the, the area of the volume of this room, which is, uh, well, it's not accurate because I was just pointing randomly. Um, really quick and easy to use. Um, area measurement. Uh, that's I think the last mode over here. So if we do the area measurement, it's basically just uh, you know you want to measure the wall size, uh, one size of the wall. You want to measure the size of the um, the ground, so you can get you know your tiles. Um, you you know how much tiles you're gonna buy, and within the length measurement and the width, it gives you a square footage measurement. Within this, you also have the subtraction, and the addition. So I'm going to use the add and then I'm going to just quickly tap and get some areas added. So once you add, it gives you this reading over here. Okay. So as you can see, so that was the original measurement. If I, if I measured with the add, it gives me the, the number that I just measured. And if I press the laser button again, it gives me the final area over here on the bottom. So kind of like a math equation so you do that and you add that you get this let me do it again and see if it works that way okay so i'm going to do the subtraction and i'm going to start and i got this subtra subtraction square footage i'm going to hit the laser button again and look boom it's gonna subtract from the area original area that um, that i measured which gives me an area of 99 foot blah 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 so extremely useful again. Um, this package, I think we covered everything. Yep, we covered everything. And obviously I think all of those features are extremely useful in a house, especially if you just got a house and you are doing a lot of home projects, you need area measurements, you need, you need length measurements. This thing does it all. And uh, again, it retails for only $90. Um, and I bought it used, honestly, for, um, I think I paid $55 and it's in brand new condition. Also comes with, you know, the little carrying case over here. It's Velcro with like a little, you know, stretchy thing on the two sides. And, uh, of course, turn it off. You long press the power button to turn it off. Uh, and you can put it in here like fairly quickly. And boom, that's it. So that actually sums up this quick overview. Uh, not sure if it's quick anymore because I obviously went through uh, quite a long time. But um, again, I think personally, it's an extremely useful tool to have in your house. I can honestly say just throw away the rulers because it's slow to use and uh, it's not that intuitive. And uh, this thing does just so much, so much more. Um, I'm not paid by them to say good things. I bought this tool for myself and I even bought it used. Uh, again, I found it extremely useful. Only uses two AA battery, AAA batteries. And uh, um, in terms of, okay, one last thing is uh, in terms of ruggedness, I have rubber 
on the on all the edges but it's not as uh, it's not as rigid for I guess job site use if you're a contractor uh, you are always on the job you job this thing a lot it might not last and it's not it's not as waterproof as you think it have um, it doesn't have rubber seals around the battery area and I know some of the more tough models have uh, rubber seals around battery area so it's it's much more waterproof and again like on the top try not to touch those areas because that's where the laser comes out and that's where it receives the readings if it does get dirty uh, try to clean it with a um, cotton um, cut swab just gently with a cotton swab it sh you should be able to wipe off the uh, fingerprints and all kinds of dirt over here um, but that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions about uh, this little laser meter feel free to ask me in the comments section down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have regarding this laser meter um, again great value I'll post a link below on where to get it I'll also post a link on where to buy the used on eBay uh, so you guys you know if you're like me who loves used stuff uh, you can definitely find great value in those uh, laser meters used okay so thank you so much for watching again and uh, I'll see you in my next video take care